to another Kids Steam Crafter Noon with the Alexander Hamilton Library. Today we are going to be making Lunar Landers. So later this month is International Observe the Moon Night, which is pretty cool. So in honor of that, we wanted to do a project that was all about the moon. Now this project is brought to you by NASA and their Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which is pretty exciting. So some background on the project from NASA. It says landing on the moon is tricky. Since a spacecraft can go as fast as 18,000 miles per hour on its way to the moon, it needs to slow down in order to land gently. And if there are astronauts on board, the lander also needs to keep them safe. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using some basic materials to keep our very own astronauts safe as they try to land on the moon or as they drop from your hand to the tabletop or to the floor today. The science behind what we're doing today is all about gravity, air resistance, and shock absorption. So gravity is of course the force that makes things fall. So if you drop something, it falls because gravity is acting on it, bringing it down to the ground. Air resistance is the force that's generated from the air stopping the object from falling. So this marshmallow falls pretty fast, but a piece of paper that has more space underneath might fall a lot slower. That's because it can catch the air to help keep it up. Our last component that we're going to be talking about is shock absorption. And this is a huge one for today's project. You're going to be making your very own lunar lander. That means a ship that your two marshmallow astronauts can ride in to land on the moon safely. And you're going to need a way to make sure that their ride is nice and soft and their landing is gentle. Otherwise, they may have a catastrophic wipeout. So are you ready to explore gravity, air resistance, and shock absorption with today's activity from NASA? Let's get started with our lunar landers. So for today's project, our lunar lander, these are the basic materials that you'll need and what you'll start with in your steam kit. So first, to make your lander, you need your astronauts. So for our astronauts today, we are going to be using some normal sized marshmallows. All right, so these are what we're going to try to keep safe in our lunar lander. Your lunar lander is going to be made of some basic supplies. So first you'll need a cup. Now, if you're using one of our steam kits, we just have one of our paper Dixie cups. We suggest something that will fit your two marshmallows with not a ton of extra space. We also don't want them poking out the top, but we'll start with a cup and you'll have in your steam kit this white piece of paper. Now this is pretty stiff. This is stiffer than the normal cardstock, so this will be the base to your lander. All right, your basic format is going to be like this, where your cup is going to be taped to your landing dock. What you'll need apart from your astronaut's cup and paper so you'll get some mini marshmallows. These can be used for shock absorption. You'll also have pipe cleaner pieces, straw pieces, and some cardstock that's green in your steam kit. All right, this will help. These are all materials that you can use to help absorb the shock when your lander goes to land on the surface of the moon. So in your steam kit, you'll also get a paper that is from the NASA website that's all about the challenge. So it has the example of how to start your lander as well as the basic supplies. Now our supplies are slightly different, but that's okay because this project is all about being creative and figuring out a way for your astronauts to land safely. Now that was a pretty short trip. But what we're going to be doing is trying to drop your astronauts from a higher altitude or higher up in the air and seeing if they can stay inside your lander. So to get started, your first step is going to be to take some tape. We'll take out our astronauts and we're going to tape down the bottom of the cup to your paper. 
Now it is up to you if you want this to be in the center of your white paper or if you want it to be off center. I recommend going as close to the center as you can, but you are the designer, so do what you want. I will say that you may need to go back and reposition your cup later. But So I'm just putting some tape off the bottom, Oop, and this one came off of my finger, and then I'm just going to push it down on here. All right, you can do the same thing just by putting your cup down and then putting tape on the cup and then down on the paper. Or if you start on the paper, put your tape down and fold it up on to the cup. All right, now I can add another piece of tape if I want. I can be done at three. You can add a ton of tape, it's up to you. But the goal is to get your cup stuck on your landing paper. Now is where you can really be creative. Let's start adding some other supplies to help to cushion that fall. Because if I move my supplies out, remember, we're going to lift this up higher and see if the astronauts will fall out. All right, pretty good to start, but what if I take it up even higher? Oh no, they fell out. So I need to figure out a way to make it so that the force of the landing is softer. It's not as strong. To do that, we can add stuff underneath. Let's try it. So you can see I'm taking my cardstock and I'm folding it. That's to help make some shock absorbers so that if this goes on the bottom of my cup, it will help to absorb that force. Let's make the other side. All right, I've got my other side. Now they are not perfectly the same, but that's okay. All right, this is all about experimenting and seeing what works for you. So again, I'm gonna go back to my tape. You can also use glue. Sorry, astronauts. All right, so I've got two shock absorbing feet on. Let's see when I drop it. Ah, all right, so it starts to drop, but it also does fold to the side. So that's another thing to consider when you put your astronauts in, if it will fall to the side and hold them up or if it'll fall to the side and crash out. All right, so maybe I need to add some more structure to help my shock absorbers stay a certain distance apart. What could I use from my materials to do that? And of course, if you have a pair of scissors, you are welcome to change the length of anything that's in your steam kit or anything that you're using so you can cut stuff apart. The only thing that you can't cut is don't cut your cup, your landing paper, or your astronauts. You need them to stay in one piece. All right, so I've got a structure to help my shock absorbers stay in place, not bad. I can also keep adding, I have more straws, I've got pipe cleaners. You can take some of these mini marshmallows and stick them on your pipe cleaners and start attaching those to things, or you can attach them to your paper. It's up to you. You've got lots of different materials this week. Let's see what you can come up with. So now I'm gonna stop and I'm going to let you Keep adding it and keep testing. This is a great one to add something, test it out. Add something else, test it out. See what works, see what doesn't. If it doesn't work, come back, change it, and try something different. But now I want to go ahead and do a little bit of testing. So let's check out how high I can drop my really basic lunar lander with the astronauts inside. So like I said, we're going to take our simple structures and do some testing. So my suggestion is to get out a measuring tape or a ruler or something that you can use to measure while you're doing these tests because we want to hear from you what the highest altitude you can drop your astronaut safely is. That means that each time you do a drop, so if I start like this, I'm going to measure from my astronaut car to the surface where they land. So let's say from the bottom of your white paper that the cup is taped to, to the table or to the ground. Measure that 
and see how high you can drop it from. So we'll start with a small drop. Remember, my structure is pretty basic. You can add a lot, yours, a lot more to yours if you want to make it super cool and complicated, or you can keep it really simple. It's up to you. It's a pretty open one today. So let's say I'll estimate that's from here to here, let's say about from here, maybe about a foot. All right, let's test it. Okay, so it definitely went to one side, which is a little concerning. So I might wanna go back and maybe I need to reposition my shock absorbers. Maybe they're a little too far to this side because you can see it definitely went that way. So maybe I need to move this side out this way a little bit more so my astronauts have more support. Let's try it again though. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it again, but I think you should stop and make adjustments as needed. All right, so it was about a foot and it was okay. Let's see if we do about maybe two feet. Are you ready? <laughs> and so just like that, my astronauts totally wiped out. And my, where is my lunar lander? Hold on, just one second. So my lander is here, my astronauts are here, but the car for the astronauts went under the table and far away. So it was pretty much a total wipeout. All right, why do you think that happened? Well, I think when it hit, it went down and went to one side and then popped the cup off and that's when the astronauts flew out. So I really needed to stop and do that redesign or just the adjustments were my original design to make sure that when I went to a higher height, it wasn't going to be a catastrophic blowout. So we wanna see what you're making this week. Remember you can get almost all of these supplies for free in your steam kit this week. The only thing you'll need to supply is tape and scissors. Or if you wanna try it at home, use materials that you can find at your house. All right, but we recommend a cup, two big marshmallows, and a piece of cardboard, so thin cardboard or this thick piece of white cardstock from your steam kit to make your lunar base, so the car, and then you can add whatever you want for the bottom, all right? So our steam kits are available for free from the library. Anytime we're open, you can find them down in the kids area. Just look in the steam kit box. It's first come, first serve, but we do ask that you don't take more than you need to actually do at home. Also, we wanted to remind you that Observe the Moon Night is coming up soon. So International Observe the Moon Night is a really cool idea that we found while looking for our lunar lander activities this year, where it's September 26th and people around the world and organizations around the world all look at the moon on that particular night. We suggest that you take a look at it at the NASA website. Just search for NASA International Observe the Moon Night. It's also on your steam kit instructions on the outside of your bag and see if you are interested in participating in observing the moon on September 26th as well. So thanks for joining us for our STEAM Club today. We hope that we'll see you in two weeks for another Kids STEAM Crafternoon. Bye guys! <laughs>